Bridget, tell me about your exes. Can you be a little more specific? <laughs> okay, tell me about your first love. Okay. We actually met in high school. Uh, sophomore year, we had a lot of classes together and she actually ended up being my partner for driver's ed. After that class, I started seeing her more and we were in more classes together. And um, at that time I was out and she was not. At the time I ended up, you know, figuring out that I might be into girls and yeah, it was just, um, it was a lot. Um, but I wasn't really, you know, acknowledging it. Come senior year, she came out as well. And so I asked her to prom and um, it was very exciting. We had a good time. I think she was really surprised. Oh, I was, I was shocked, floored even. Um, I didn't even know she thought about me like that. And um, I certainly didn't know that she was, uh, that she liked women, you know, um, but it went well. And um, from there we started dating. So how long were you two together? It was about two years. About two years, I think. Yeah, it was a long time. And why did it ultimately end? Uh, it was just timing. The timing was off. She had gotten a job in Los Angeles and I was here in Pennsylvania. And um, she decided to end it because she thought the long distance would be too hard. I have a lot of regrets about that. And honestly, I don't know if she's even forgiven me. What, what did it take you to move on? So I took some time. Uh, I think it was about a year. And I got into this relationship with this dumbass named Chad. Who? Oh, right, Bridget. Gonna be honest, I thought she was that hot redhead from last year. <laughs> but anyway, Bridges. It's Bridget. That's what I said. He sucked. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't. Gonna be honest, I don't really remember how we met. Or when. I've been with a lot of females. <laughs> the ladies love me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a bad time in my life. I think we were together for about four months. I don't think he knew that he was in a relationship. I want to say about a week. I just remember I was doing Molly either before we met or after we broke up. What was the tipping point for you? Oh, God. He went on spring break. So at this point, it it'd probably been like the three or four month mark. And um, I found out that he had been doing Molly. 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 Because I was doing Molly. And I had to end it there. When he came home, I was like, dude, we're done. And do you feel that that relationship affected your trust issues moving forward? Oh, absolutely. I mean, after that, I was a wreck and I kind of rushed into another relationship, which was a mistake. And um, his name was Robert and he was admittedly a rebound. Before we do this, I just need to make it perfectly clear that I'm only doing this so I can air my grievances against that woman. Okay. He was very in love with me. I think it was summer, maybe around May. Yeah, Memorial Day barbecue. Had a few mutual friends, ended up being last two to leave the party. Things just went from there. And I was not quite at the place where he was. Clearly, I liked her more than she liked me. Did you know I proposed to her? Valentine's Day, of all days. It was on the beach. Rose petals and everything. He actually proposed. And um, I said no, because I couldn't, I didn't see us together. I didn't see, I didn't think we had a future together. She didn't see a future together. I got so mad that I just threw the ring into the ocean. Regretted that and ended up actually diving in to get it again, but still threw it. We were together for about nine months, nine or 10 months. Nine months, nine beautiful, perfect, agonizing, horrible months with that stupid <laughs> piece of <laughs> stupid <laughs> So Bridget and I met a few years ago on a dating app. We just immediately clicked. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but I've never felt like that before about anyone. So after that, have you tried dating apps? I did. I took some time to 
take a break, kind of heal a little bit. And um, I met my most recent girlfriend who is now an ex, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so I, I did and they work sometimes. <laughs> so a week after we matched, we decided to go on our first date. Uh, that did not go well. Um, we, we've both been, been in previous messy relationships. So I think we were both a little bit nervous. Um, so she was wearing this white t-shirt and I had a little bit too much to drink and I spilled red wine all over her. And so she ended up driving me home and she talked about her exes, uh, her two previous exes the entire time. Uh, but somehow we decided to go on our second date and a third date and a fourth date. And why did that end? She wanted kids. She wanted to start a family and I wasn't ready for that. She was a few years older than me. And um, so after about a year, we decided to end it because of our differences. And that was really hard. We were together for about a year uh, and it was it was good. Um, but ultimately, I was ready to start a family and she was not. And so we decided to break up. Bridget was the best lover I've ever had. Yeah, I miss her. <clears throat> um, but I also really loved how, you know, she just always knew when I was having a bad day. She would, you know, bring me my favorite tea in like this big blue mug with daisies on it. It was just, you know, she always knew the little things that I loved, you know? And the least favorite thing, it was, it was a long time ago. I don't really remember. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm ready for the next question, if you are. What was your least and most favorite thing about your ex? Oh, honestly, at the time, I didn't hate anything about her. I loved everything about her and struggled to find any flaws. But now I honestly hate her guts. She broke my heart so bad it turned me gay. If you could go back and do things differently, would you? Yeah. Yeah, I would at least try and make it work, you know? I was young and stupid not to try. Is she here? Do you think I should ask her out? Yeah, maybe I should. Do you think she would like some coffee? No, not coffee. <sighs> she liked tea. Maybe I'll ask her for some tea. No way, man. This is like my sixth year of college, and let me tell you, the parties, the chicks at those parties, they just get better and better. So why would I want to do anything differently? Yeah. Um, if I could go back, I never would have met her. No, no, I wouldn't change anything. Um, a lot of the memories are very bittersweet now, but it's all in the past, and I'm happy that um, we met each other. So are you single now? I am. Surprise, surprise. I'm actually married right now. Um, so after Bridget and I broke up, uh, it was it was hard. I started meditating a lot and just becoming very spiritually aware and in tune with the universe. And I just, I manifested, you know, and about six months later, Adam came into my life and I found out last night that I'm pregnant with our first child. So I am very happy. His name is John. He's wonderful, fantastic, supportive of my corporate career. I honestly couldn't ask for a better partner. I would never be tied down to anything. But uh, if you want to tie me down, I let that happen any time. And moving forward, what do you look for in an ideal partner? You know, I really want someone who is a culmination of all the good qualities of my exes. So like the thoughtfulness of Teresa and the, the patience and compassion of Claire. And... Um, the 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 devotion from Robert, who was the one who proposed to me, um, and nothing from Chad. 
Do you know Bridget's single now? Who? Why do I care? <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I really wish her the best, to be very honest. I'm, I'm very happy with where I'm at. Like, there is no ill will there or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope she's doing well. But I'm very happy where I'm at. Stop! Stop! No interview! <laughs> Yo, like, my plug is outside. Can we, like, wrap this up? I don't really care about Bridges or Bridget or whatever. I, I just want to get out of here. I got hot babes and fun times to study. <laughs> <laughs>